Hi, I'm Arise Wanzer. We're in Direct TV space, and I'm going to give you romantic advice. Who said you could introduce? We never talked about this. She's the problem. She doesn't communicate. Problem number one: communicate in relationships. And this is Mike for whatever reason. Doesn't even let me introduce myself. She doesn't even let me talk. See, it's probably a smarter decision. Every time I open my mouth, it seems to be the wrong thing. Exactly. Don't get canceled. Let's get into it then. Question one. When is the right time to define the relationship? Well, you need to talk in the beginning to find out how much time you're willing to spend with somebody and how much time you actually have. For example, if you're older, you might not be willing to spend as much time in the beginning phase. But if you're young and fresh, you know, you can go for like a month or two before you fresh? need to label. Fresh? No, let's stop right there. <laughs> All <it>. over town. <laughs> okay. And still fresh. <laughs> By three months, you should be able to know, is this just like a hookup buddy or is this actually going somewhere? Because at that point, you gotta know whether or not you're wasting your time. Question two. My ex watches all my stories. Are they checking up on me? No. Yes, they are. Yes, they no, are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Why are you looking at my story? I'm friends with all my exes. I'm looking at someone's story doesn't mean you're always flirting with them. Just because no, someone looks at No, it's not flirting. It's checking up on. Just because- That is not flirting. Cut me off one more time. I can't wait. <laughs> That, I tell people all the time, because every time you're like, are they looking at my story? And they sent, spend like all those minutes swiping and looking for that one person, it means nothing. If someone's into you, you know. You sound cold. <laughs> I wonder who got me there. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Watch MTV Thursday night today. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read this one. Okay. I want to read this one. Okay, can you read? <laughs> At what point slash after how long do I consider it rude when the guy I'm seeing leaves me on read? Red. <laughs> Past tense. Yeah. Anyway. How long is too long? Well, there's always exceptions to the rule. Did something happen? Did his phone die? He's out on a mountain or something. Also, don't make excuses for him. And I don't always like when someone's like, oh, I was busy. We're all busy. We are all busy. Okay, I'm out here doing all my shit. I still find time to answer. If, if, if you're important, they make time. Busy That's is busy, but if they really care, you will know and they will make the time. Don't give people opportunities to give excuses. That was good advice, Mike. <laughs> How do you feel about open relationships? Oh, I wonder who wrote this. What is your opinion on open relationships? I think that in an open relationship, it can absolutely work, but communication is key. You have to be communicating. I think that open relationships are fine and great. In the past, I didn't want to be a part of an open relationship, not because I judge them. I think it's great. I think being able to communicate with your partner, set rules and boundaries, because everybody's relationship is different. And I'm a jealous psychopath. So the idea of an open relationship just seemed destined for me to fail. <laughs> okay. I do not object to anything you said about yourself, but you're also a very nice person. Okay. And so I said something nice Don't about him. <laughs> That's a wrap on romantic advice. I think we killed it. We're pros. And now we're done. Are we pros? Is it because we mess up a lot? I mean, you learn from your mistakes. So I know. Look at my mistakes. <laughs>